Hi, my name is Drew Arminta, and this is my video for Are You Can See Today. I'm right side of, outside of Dallas, Texas, in the city of Las Colinas, in Williams Square Plaza. I'm here today to show you a series of statues titled The Mustangs of Las Colinas. Ben H. Carpenter, the founder of Las Colinas, wanted to create these statues so he could transform his family's ranch into a world-class development. This sta these statues are currently the largest equestrian sculptures in the world in terms of square feet, and they total up to a number of seven horses, seven different horses. He wanted to make this the centerpiece of this development, something that was a huge part of Texas's heritage. Robert Glenn, the sculptor of these, was just the man for the job because of his passion and natural art for previous experiences sculpting. He was told to create the Mustang sculpture of a band of Mustangs crossing a stream of river. Uh, he spent years of preliminary research before he actually started sculpting. Glenn used a bronze casting process as the medium of the artwork. Shortly after flying out to London, he completed the sculpting and then had him ship back to Texas to be placed as the centerpiece of the plaza. These horses are very detailed and stylized, like many during the High Renaissance. You can see the veins and other detailed features in the horse's nose, and also as, as, the, as well as their manes. These horses were made to be as naturalistic and as close to their original form as possible. They are also to play, displayed in a stance of action as well, which also is an important style that was influenced by the Renaissance. The sculpture can be viewed from any side, with each view as intriguing as the next, unlike a relief sculpture. Also, there is a little bit of influence of romanticism in the statues as well, because they are very expressive pieces of emotions in nature. Not only that, but they are also very imaginative sculptures too, like many romantic pieces of art. This way was display. This display was arranged and set up a me methodology of iconology. It represents an important part of Texas history, with all the horses interrelating with each other. The Mustangs also have a great deal of nationalistic value because it represents a major part of Texas's culture. I chose this piece of art because I grew up around here, and I remember visiting it when I was little and thinking how cool it was. It had always been very interesting to me, intrig and intriguing to me, and at the same time represents an important part of Texas history. That's all.